Although Vietnamese Buddhism is localized when entering from India to Vietnam, it still has distinguishing features in comparison with Buddhism of other countries around the world. Thanks to this long connection, many Indian Buddhist monks have visited Vietnam for the purpose of cultural exchange with Vietnamese ones as well as Buddhist fellows in recent years. His Holiness Mingling Kenten Rinpoche has recently been visiting Vietnam and giving Buddha's teachings in many monasteries here. Hello and welcome to the special edition of Shang Vietnam on VTC10 Netvian. I'm Van Hiep. So in today's program, we have invited a very distinguished guest from India, His Holiness Mingling Kenchen Rinpoche. So Master Rinpoche, we know that you have been in Vietnam five times already. So this time you're here in Vietnam. Could you please share with us how you're feeling right now? Yeah, I come, first I come and uh, then until now, lots of every every time I come feel very positive, feel very nice. Especially our Buddhist Sangha and Vietnamese Buddhist Sangha, they are really friendly, they are really, you know, down to earth and they are really sincerely. They are always uh, very nice and very sincere and they I found really humanity is very, very good. So, Master Rinpoche, we know that you are the president of a Buddhism school in India. So, could you please share with us a little bit some information about your school and about Tantrayana that you are following? Actually, our uh, college the found uh, more than uh, 26 years before we found it, and uh, from there we study, and uh, both of Tantrayana and Mahayana both we study. And uh, first time we have only uh, 26 students and uh, now we have uh, like uh, 167 students and uh, already graduated uh, like uh, uh, 27 abbots uh, from our college and uh, right now all the like students coming from Bhutan and uh, coming from Nepal and uh, India and uh, China and uh, Vietnam and uh, some Westerner also. Tantayana they have uh, so many inside uh, uh, so many different things different Tantrayana uh, but uh, Buddha so when Buddha teach and Buddha give the teaching they are te teaching have uh, two different teaching things one is the uh, Mahayana teaching one is the uh, Tantrayana teaching so both of the Buddha's uh, teaching so we follow in that Tantrayana and the Tantrayana is a kind of like a special way to enlighten it and uh, like that. But it's a Tantrayana also and uh, same as a Mahayana based on your compassion, based on the, and it depends on your motivation and uh, kindness and compassion. That's the basic, it's everything Mahayana, Tantrayana the same. So you have been in Vietnam five times already. Do you have something to comment on Vietnam's Buddhism? Yes, I, I've been to many pagodas here. In, uh, five times I've been here, many pagodas. The pagodas abbot and uh, all the pagodas uh, sangha, they are really, really sincere. And not only sincere to me, and uh, that's uh, their like, attitude, and uh, their personality, and uh, their behavior. It's uh, very amazing. Same as uh, when the uh, 3,000 years uh, before Buddha comes to the, this world, that time Buddha's disciples, how they behave and how they do. Same as reading in a book and uh, doing in uh, Vietnam. And I uh, went to the Bhavan Gamba, Bhavan Temple, and uh, I joined the meal with them and eat together, same like today here. We have a meal together and uh, all the like when before the meal, how to they offering, after the meal, how to do, and when the normally, you know, routine, her life routine, how to going, and uh, teacher, how to take care of the you know, uh, Sangha, and the Sangha, how to you know, follow the teacher's advice, and the monastery, how to manage. They are very wonderful. And not only one monastery, and you know, I've been so many and the uh, Buddhist Sangha temple, everywhere, Zen traditional and uh, Tinto traditional, 
everywhere very wonderful and their dress up is very well very simple and uh, according to buddha's teaching and buddha's advice very simple behavior is very good and the study is very cool and uh, life having what kind of life they have a very simple life and try to help to the local people and teaching to the local people how to do the right thing for the dharma and for the public in this cultural exchange program the order of 12 buddhist monks from india was welcomed with Vietnamese style ritual ceremonies and activities with the Vietnamese traditional costumes by the board of organizers of God Monastery. After worshipping the deceased former abbot of the God Monastery and delivering a conversation with its current leader, all of the monks visited the architectural structures based on religious beliefs of the Vietnamese people. Visiting areas in the monastery, the order has the chance to understand more about Vietnam Buddhism as well as the daily life of the monks living here. God Monastery is one of the typical architectures of Vietnam with a long-standing architecture without mixing with other cultures. First of all, these monks visited the altar of worship for the monastery's deceit former abbots. Next, the order visited the main temple and other architectural structures which are used for the sake of monastery religious rituals such as Thievil Gate, Stupas, and the Temple of Mother Worship. Temple of Mother Worship is a place to offer Vietnamese female goddesses. The ancients said all objects including trees, rocks, etc. are sacred. Therefore, from a long time ago, Vietnamese people have worshipped the goddesses of river, mountain, water, sea, etc. with the belief that favorable natural will bring fulfilled life and bumper crop. Besides, due to labor practices where the family's main role belongs to women, Vietnamese gradually consecrate the natural goddesses into their gods, such as Pháp Vân, Pháp Lôi, Pháp Địa, about 2,000 years ago. When Buddhism entered into Vietnam, credence of mother worship depended on Buddhism, and Avalokiteshvara, Buddhist Sava, became the head of this religion. The Holy Mother turned into deity and was worshipped in monasteries. In northern Vietnam, most of monasteries have their own temples of mother worship. This expresses the combination between local religion and Buddhism. So, Master Rinpoche, this time you're here in Vietnam. You have been guided through this temple, this pagoda, by the local monks here, and to discover about the worshiping of the mother goddesses here in Vietnam. So, talking about the worshiping of the mother goddesses here in Vietnam, do you have something to comment? Yeah, that is the same as uh, us. You know, same hour also. We also follow the local deity, like land god and uh, like a uh, local deity like deities and uh, english they call like angel or like that kind of thing right and uh, here like some like uh, and uh, like uh, some miracle ladies uh, like they can and help to the public like a local deity we also do in our uh, country also india also have uh, our local deity we always uh, every year respect to them and offering the flower and uh, rice and uh, this kind of uh, incense, this kind of offer, and they also protect us 
like um, water uh, water god and uh, air god and a forest god this kind of a deity is, is we are same as here also i'll always you know uh, they are really useful also when we respect when we do the and you know, pray for them they really immediately and you know, react and you know, help to the public so when we talk about the worshiping of the mother goddesses here in Vietnam in relations with the Tantrayana in India, do you have something to comment on the similarities between the two? Tantrayana also we have a lot of like we have uh, the Rijema, we have Kurukule, we have a Kurukule, we have a Tara and uh, we have a uh, lot of uh, that kind of uh, goddess. We always respect and uh, female, there are lots of female masters come and uh, female deities, uh, they, are, they are all like the same like as uh, here, you know, we really, you know, uh, do the, you know, practice, we really do the, their offering and their practice also. And actually nowadays in Vietnam, there are a group of people here following Tantrayana. So talking about Vietnam's Tantrayana, do you have something to say when we compare with the Indian Tantrayana? Right now, I saw there are many Vietnamese really interesting to the Tantrayana. Normally, actually, you know, I found uh, before I visit the Dallas city, you know, there is also a Tantrayana so temple also there. They are following Tantrayana. But uh, when this and uh, some Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh, there are like a uh, lot of public follow the Tantrayana. But uh, oh, my important thing is. Uh, and they should first, uh, before the follow, they should learn the Tantrayana, how to, what is Tantrayana, how to follow really, you know. So all the Tantrayana followers, they should follow from the beginning, they read the Tantrayana, what is Tantrayana, they very fully understand, after that they follow the Tantrayana. And I think you can follow the really, you know, really, you know, truly you can follow. Just close eye, then, you know, just do something, then, and even they don't know, you know, what you're doing and what for for what they're doing. Also, they don't know some of them really. Some of they have very good knowledge, but some of them are so like uh, blindly, you know, jump into there and uh, not really aware of so many things. So everything in Mahayana, I also say Mahayana, but Tantra on both the side, you need to be study well. Yes. After the study, easy to follow, easy to do the practice. Also, you just blindly jump into their to the practice, then uh, sometimes it's difficult, even Mahayana, even Tantrayana, both of them. And uh, nowadays in Vietnam, the government of Vietnam is compiling documents about the worshipping of the mother goddesses here in Vietnam to send to UNESCO to recognize it as the world cultural heritage. So in order to achieve this target, what should Vietnam do? So everyone should support, everyone you know, prove that that things that are really worthy, you know, that can be worshipped, right? And they are tell to our history. History is disappearing, and now these days it doesn't care. They just follow the you know, Western, uh, some like that kind of thing. Uh, and uh, but they you, they forgot the you know, historical. Historical is our, you know, where we come from. There, that history is very important. Each country have each you know city have a history. That's very important, and that should keep in you know, UNESCO and everyone. They should accept. And also duty to the Vietnamese people who also, you know, they prove this is the, you know, really worth, you know, and uh, take care of that, you know, they take care of this. And once again, thank you very much, Master Rinpoche, for joining our program today. And we hope that you can come back more often to Vietnam. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, with that, we have to wrap up our program for today. For comment and feedback, don't hesitate to write to us at changvietnam at netvietv.net. And once again, Avan here. Goodbye for now.